Uh, hey guys, I'm Ian, and um, I'm going to do a little tutorial build-up on the uh, Playmates Medical Mark 7 Tricorder uh, Upgrade Kit by GM Props. Um, so we're going to follow along uh, over the next couple weeks as we build this thing up. Um, at the end we'll make a, a PDF tutorial so you have all the information nice together. So a lot of this will be a, a learning, learning uh, experiment for me. Um, one of the kind of big things we need to do for this is have parts made for these two. Uh, obviously these light up on the real tricorder. Picture tricorder, real fancy one, real one. There you go. So uh, we'll have to upgrade those and we're looking at getting some of those made. Um, so even before I knew this set was coming out I already started modifying this. And um, if you follow uh, GM Props' tutorial for the Science Tricorder version, um, he recommends that you cut the back out for the door, just like on the original Mark 7s. And I've already gone ahead and done that. So um, this will just screw in like this, and these screw into where the doors are, so we'll be filling all this stuff in. Um, here's where the battery compartment originally was. Uh, we'll probably be, well, we will be uh, gluing this together and uh, filling this all in too. Uh, the only marks that'll be still here will be these screw holes and this line around. Everything else is going to be filled. Um, I want to make this, since these tricorders are so hard to get, if you want to get one, here, here, here's your 400 bucks for the kit, so you know, um, this is as close as we're going to get for a while until somebody makes a nice affordable kit or even a kit in general. I mean, you can't even get the Roddenberry ones anymore. So, uh, but this will be, you know, as close as we can get to, uh, uh, an accurate original now. So there's a couple things that we'll have to figure out. So namely this right here. Now with the scanner pocket, the scanner used to have a little lever. That. Uh, yep, there you go. Uh, the scanner used to have a little lever that would pop it up, and without the lever, it's. I mean, basically, you have to do that. So, what my thinking is, and we'll experiment and see how this works, is we'll have to cut down this little lip right here and make a new little shelf so it just kind of barely sticks out so it's easy to pick up, but it doesn't get caught on any of these, you know, things hanging out. A uh, new little shelf will probably hang it on with magnets, so, you know, it'll just... Zzz, um, because the other reason that we need to clear this out is because there's a little scanner of... or a line of green LEDs that goes down in here. So if you had if you kept that little lever in there, you wouldn't be able to see them, so... And that's one of the things of the Strikor. So, as you can see, I've already gutted it, and basically it's really, it's really easy. Um, you, uh unscrew all these, the back part comes right off. Uh, then you unscrew just pretty much everything that's inside. Take that all out. Um, probably the first step we're going to be doing towards modifying this is taking out all these little screw holes and plate things and you know resting areas because the electronics will need to fit flush up against this. Now this area is going to have to go too uh, because not only does it stick out on the front a bit but it also you know sticks way into the back and when you take a look at the circuit board here in a second, you'll see that if you want to have it flush, you're going to have to take that piece out. But um, that'll be okay, because we have the uh, kit comes with a set of graphics that lay over this, so you won't even know any of this exists. Um, which will be useful, too, because we're going to have to cut out, you know, if you're not the best, you know, I wasn't when I originally did this, you know, drilling and cutting these things out, making them perfectly square. Um, like this area right here is going to be hard to get, you know, perfectly square. But uh, the graphics will cover that up because they've got little masks and stuff. Uh, this is another area where it's going to require some precision cutting, but it also has a graphic. And, um, yeah, I don't know what was going on here. Well, I have another Playmates tricorder. I'll replace that part because that actually does sit in there and has to look good. Um, so our, our, when I was talking with GM Props, we talked about doing kind of a basic tutorial and an advanced tutorial. So we'll see how that plays out, you know, the more advanced you want to get it, like, door wiring, because that can be kind of complicated on this one, because it's not the brass hinges. Um, and other things like, you know, really modifying it, making those little 
inset places instead of these wacky things that are sitting on the side. So, you know, we'll get into all that, that fun stuff. Um, so, what's also awesome about this kit is you get a little scanner for the, uh, or circuit for the scanner. Um, this one's going to be a challenge too because it's glued together. Uh, but probably what'll happen is we'll cut it open and gut it right there. Another another thing about this is you'll probably, you know, just drill those in. But on the real one, it's those little rectangle LEDs. So we'll have to get that looking looking good because we're trying to make it accurate. And got this little weird extra LED on the bottom. So that'll be fun. And so when you get the kit, I don't have the graphics with me right now. They're where are those graphics? Oh, yeah, they're at Guy's house. Watch the Uncollectors Club, you'll see Guy. Um, so when you get this, you get a little reed switch that's in this case right here. Uh, you get some magnets, and you get this and this. So let's check out the circuit. Yep, there it goes. Now, very important, I'm going to highly recommend this. Do not exceed 5 volts, it says. Six volts is as high as you can really go without burning out the sound module, but most of the rechargeable batteries, and rechargeable batteries are really good for these. Um, that way you're just not, you know, they'll burn through battery, regular batteries, you know, pretty quick if you just, if you play with it all the time. Um, but usually the rechargeable batteries are like 3.7 volts, so that's not a bit, not that big of a deal. Um, but make sure you don't because you'll burn out the sound module and, and it won't make the lovely tricorder sounds. And that. So, you get a couple different boards here. This is the main screen board. And this area is the area that will be, you know, impacted by the, uh, that inset area. Well, you just want to keep clicking. There we go. Uh, this is the front array board. It goes right there, and also has the sound module on it. And uh, this is the special new board. Well, I guess all this is new. All right, you're done. That was fun. Um, so this is the this is the more special board. This is the one that requires the most modification to get this to look right. So, you know, this guy goes right here. We'll have to cut out a little channel for all that. Um, this little red one, or there goes this little guy right here. We'll stick out up here, and I think I said this already. We're we're looking at making some resin replacement parts so that all you do is just drill, cut these out uh, to their insets, and basically you just pop those things in, and you're good to go. So they might be some painting required, but other than that, they should be good. And then this piece right here will go right there, and you've got the amber and or yellow and um, red LEDs. So again placement part for that and that that like I said that is the goal to make this you know because uh, before you know in the science kit it includes that little half round piece but that was usable on the tri the um, mark 7 regular kits anyway so we have to com create completely new parts for these um, a st interestingly though I've seen some comparison photos with this and like the original and these are about the same size so um, uh, we'll hopefully we can use the tombstone LEDs that these actually use just to make new ones. So, um, yeah, that's about it for this. So, let's check this out too. And if you're familiar with GM Props' as other circuits, this functions pretty much just like the other scanners. So we'll need a couple of uh, coin cell batteries to fit into this. So. One. That is our intro to this, and we'll come back in a few minutes, and or a few seconds for you guys, and we'll show you the progress so far. Stay tuned. All right, so here we are uh, dremeling out all the little supports and things. I'm using the Dremel uh, sanding drum.
So yeah, there we go. So let's go uh, over to the bench and uh, drill out some of these uh, things that need to come out. All right, so let's test fit our panel in here and make sure it fits nice and flat so far. A little bit more work to do. Looks like all the LEDs line up. We still got to get a, yeah, got to get rid of this, and then we'll go ahead and do all these guys. So all right, before we get started with the pin vising, I just thought I'd show these because I remembered I had them. So these are circuits for the full-size tricorder, and this is the Playmates, so you can really see the size difference. Um, so here's all those. These have all the mostly all the authentic LEDs, like these little box ones and stuff. Really cool feature with this guy is on the back here. It's got a potentiometer, and you can speed them up or slow them way down. And the originals had that. Sometimes you'll see them completely stopped on the show, and then sometimes you see them at like seizure-inducing speeds, like that, or all on, or all that stuff, so and that controls the whole board, so that's kind of fun. But uh, So that's that guy, and that will be in one of our future projects. <laughs> so, alright, so let's do some, uh, let's do some uh, pin vise in here. So, got my pin vise, and got a drill bit that's just wide enough. Now my plan is to drill these holes and then come back in between them with a file and knock out the center. All right, so we got the uh, little red and green LED slots cut out, and we still got the little bridge in there to give some definition to each one. Now, unfortunately, I don't have my graphics here right now, and I'll kind of need those in order to figure out where the power light is exactly, so that'll be in the next video. Um, but, uh, all right, so... We are cutting out the power light here, or main front board light. Now, based on the pictures I've seen of the real prop, it seems like this open section, the green section, is over a little too far. So I'm probably going to cut it open just a bit, and I might go back and um, fill this other area in, but we'll see how it looks. But this used to be where the uh, on-off switch was for the playmate for the original circuits. So let's give it a try. Make sure my voltage is good. Four volts. wires together. You can't see what I'm doing. So, oh, really can't see what I'm doing. There we go. There's that little guy, right there. Now I'm noticing, oh yeah. So if you want this to fit perfectly flush, we're gonna have to get rid of this little ridge right here. So I might do that uh, hereafter, because otherwise it's kind of at an angle. But it doesn't really even need it. I mean, it fits in there pretty well. I mean, there's gonna be a graphic over it anyway. There's that guy, and here's our main body, or front 
main board. So there you go. There's all that. So now let's uh, cut out these guys right here because that's going to have to happen anyway. All right, so now we got to get rid of these areas. So I'm going to use my uh, handy dandy Dremel here and we're going to take those out. So we got those roughly cleaned out, now let's go uh, file them down. Alright, clean that up a little bit, so now we're going to go ahead and file these all down, just like the other ones. Make sure they're nice and thick. So like I said, the plan is uh, one of my prop buddies. Um, and I are going to make uh, uh, little resin replacement parts. So all we have to do is, you know, all the builder has to do is just cut these out and um, pop the replacements in. Uh, I'm not sure how long it's going to be till we have those. That's obviously going to delay any more of these videos, but um, hopefully we'll have those soon. So they shouldn't be that hard to make. You just use the um, the real tombstone LEDs. make a master and we might be able to do them in color but I'm not sure yet because this side will have to be red and this side will have to be amber this is just one tombstone LED that sticks out hopefully there is a uh, picture of it showing to you right now You'll excuse my sloppy dremeling. It's very cold where we are. And, uh, actually I have no excuse. I should I just admit that I have no excuse. But, turned out alright. Alright. Yeah, I guess I did do a little nick there, but... Will be also a video of things not to do. All right, so we got those all cleaned out. I also went ahead and got rid of that little lip that was interfering with that. So let's uh, wire it up and see how it looks. So there you go. That's all those. Now um, this guy, this guy here is going to be a little trickier. Um, because that'll have to cut, we'll have to cut a, um, just a little section, just right there, and I'm trying to think what the best way to fill that is, if we should, um, <coughs> just put some styrene, clear styrene strip over it, or, you know, uh, whatever you think might be, you... Post in the comments, whatever you think might be the best solution. I have a couple ideas in mind. Uh, just got to make sure that we can have enough for, for kits and stuff. Because the goal is um, for people to buy more kits and then just have all the stuff they need to um, put one together without having to scrounge around and build their own, you know, awkward tiny replacement parts. So I'm just going to go ahead and cut this hole because it's got to be cut anyway. So looking here, it's pretty much between the edge of these two um, screw posts. So I'm thinking that what we'll probably do is probably Dremel it out just a tiny bit and then go back with the file. Now what I'll have to do is do it from just cut into a little on each side. And actually this knot, I just realized this notch right here will be really nice because uh, that'll have easy access for the wires in there. Um, what I'm also going to do uh, before we really test it up and see how it works is I'm going to go ahead and 
drill out all this um, all this extra stuff up here, so that way we can get easy access to the um, to the scanner. So come back with that real quick. Alrighty, so went ahead and cut that uh, little hole right there. I also removed all this material on the inside since it's gonna be glued together anyway. It doesn't really need the screw holes, but I did notice that now it kind of rocks around in there. Now the magnets will be useful, but uh, I think what's gonna happen, um, I'm gonna make kind of a little plate for it to sit on so it won't do this even with the magnet in there. But now you can you know, take it out like the original instead of having to use that lever. Um, so pretty much everything's cut and drilled out uh, except for this piece. Um, oh, I didn't really go over this guy, but um, the uh, easiest way to do this is just mark where it uh, stops curving and you know go up from there and then to you know around here is where I stopped it's kind of up to you but um, well and you kind of get an extra guideline for this other battery compartment right here so that'll help you out um, for doing the back door but uh, so I'm going to put it all together here so we can see all the lights and how they work. And then um, in the next video, uh, which might not be for a little while, we'll do um, a lot of the body work and filling and stuff like that. But uh, let's check it out. All right. So just for fun for the end of the video, I thought I'd uh, install the electronics really quick so you can see how they all look. And um, don't have the read switch installed yet, but... I want to say one of the benefits of this using this as a base, I mean, you can put all sorts of stuff in there afterwards if you wanted to. I mean, it's got a nice space for batteries. Uh, I'll probably use a rechargeable on this one, but um, if you really wanted to get fancy with it, I mean, not maybe not using even these circuits, but make your own with, you know, real sensors and things like that. So that's got a lot of nice, nice room for that. But uh, let's check it out. So that's it so far, guys. Uh, hopefully, here in the next few weeks, we'll have a next one. Um, in the next one, we'll probably do the body filling and um, filling in like this and the screw holes and stuff like that. And then probably the third one after that, we'll be um, installing the replacement parts and painting and uh, installing the electronics and doing finishing and stuff like that. So. There you go. Playmates Medical Tricorder Phase 1.